most of us know, there is quite a wide range when it comes to quality of TikTok recipe videos. On one end of the spectrum, you've got the Nick Giovanni's of the world and the other chefs who very clearly try to make good quality edible foods. And then on the other side, you've got the banana loves you twos and the very clearly satirical and stupid recipes, to put it bluntly. But every once in a while, a TikTok might come across your phone that kind of toes that line, where it might seem kind of dumb and impractical at first, but there's not a shred of sarcasm or satirical tone in these people's voices. So today, we will be putting some of those recipes to the test to see which side of the spectrum they fall on, starting with Calabro's Kitchen Dog Cakes, then for lunch, the infamous Waffle Iron Pizza Pockets, then for the final course, we will be trying Silly Girl's Deep Fried French Fry Crusted Double Cheeseburger. It's anybody's guess as to how much time and money will be wasted throughout this one, so let's get right into it. As mentioned, for our breakfast course, we will be trying out Calabro's Kitchen Hot Dog Cakes. I gathered some whole milk and yellow mustard, maple syrup and self-rising flour, some pickles, an egg, and of course, the hot dogs. This one is probably the most perfect recipe to start with for a video like this, because of course, when you see somebody throw milk and hot dogs in a blender, your initial reaction is gonna be, what the f but I think I've watched this TikTok somewhere between 15 and 20 times, and unless I'm losing the ability to read people's intentions, I don't think this was a joke. I think this was a recipe this guy made up, and he thought it was good. But we will be the judges of that today. You're basically making a pancake mix with blended hot dogs, milk, and egg, some self-rising flour, and more milk as needed to attain that pancake mix texture, and then cooking them off as you would any other pancake in a nonstick pan with some butter or oil, and proceed to waste over 50% of the pancakes that you make, because for some reason, we have to punch out little circles and stack them up with the pickles and a brushing of mustard as if we were making some kind of demented hot dog wellington. I will admit, I'm not turned off by the smell of these. If you walk through my house, you might think somebody's just cooking breakfast and a hot dog at the same time. But as far as the taste, I really don't know. Because I've never envisioned myself eating pickles, mustard, hot dogs, pancakes, and maple syrup together at the same time. I would imagine I'm going to be very disoriented while trying to taste these things. I'm going to be more confused than when I see how many views some of these stupid TikToks get. But I suppose now is the time to give them a try. <laughs> Accurate representation of how I'm feeling. Maybe this will be the newest recipe that takes over all the diners and the IHOPs of the world. It'll take the country by storm. Or it'll just make me gag on the internet and I'll never think about it again. Oh. What the fuck? Nope. 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 So, the initial hit is like slightly unpleasant, but nothing unbearable. But the more you chew it, the more intensely you taste that hot dog. And something about the contrast between like the warm hot doggy pancake and then cold pickles and cold maple syrup, like, uh, it wasn't doing it for me. I understand that the idea of salty and sweet together works, like salting a brownie or a cookie. Maybe that's what they were going for here, but I think they would have been better off just sticking with the salty, kind of savory vibes, like, you do not need syrup on this. Add more hot dogs so it's more of a firm texture, maybe a little ketchup instead of the syrup. But as this stands now, don't do it, save yourselves the trouble. Next up for the lunch course today, we've got the pizza stuffed waffle from our good old friend, Banana Loves You Too. And all you will need is some tomato sauce and canned pizza crust, as well as some shredded mozzarella and some hot super sod. Now before all of you guys roll your eyes and dismiss this recipe because of who made it, I ask that you reserve your judgments for a couple minutes. This did go ultra mega viral at almost 17 million views, but this is probably the most normal and practical recipe I've ever seen Banana Loves You 2 make. Of course, outside of the weird obligatory innuendos that she feels the need to put in every video. You slam that thing down, okay? Just about as hard as you can. So you're just gonna push, push, push. Mm -hmm. That's all we want. Oh, wow, look at all that sauce coming yep, out. It's almost finished, too. Wow, yeah. everywhere. See? I'll hold it, I'll hold it. Oh. What? Well, I'm out, man. I'm stripping. 
This one is as normal a video as she can probably ever make. I tried not to go too heavy on the fillings because I know this is very prone to oozing out. I used about a medium heat to try to get some good color on the crust but also melt everything inside. I will say, as per usual with any food that doesn't belong in a waffle iron, of course we got a little bit of a mess, some leakage, but compared to other stuff we've tried to make in a waffle iron before, this was pretty much nothing to clean. Now just like me and certain people in my past, I took a second to trim off all this extra unnecessary nuisance from the situation. Today, it's only the extra dough and cheese with a knife. This is the only time I used a knife for a situation like that. I could keep going and make a very unsavory joke about that last comment, but I will not. Uh, this looks delicious. I have very high hopes, but let's give this one a shot. I love the classic uh, BuzzFeed video vibes I get from this. For those of you who don't know, that was before Tasty. They just posted it on their normal BuzzFeed channel, the quick little easy recipes, which is what I started testing on this channel, and this brings me right back. Mm-hmm. Well, at least one of these recipes today is not a complete joke. Banana, if you intended it that way, it was lost on me. These things are delicious. It was super quick. It makes a little bit of a mess, but like, look at these things. I only lost like 10 to 15% of the cheese and the sauce. The rest stayed right in there. I love how chewy the, the crust gets because of the extra toastiness on the outsides. Of course, next time I would jazz it up with a better pizza crust, some better sauce, uh, but there will be a next time. I will definitely be making this again. I love a good old classic pizza recipe. Takes me right back, so good. And lastly today, the TikTok entree, we've got the French fry encrusted deep fried double cheeseburger. If you are an emotional void and unstable enough to want to make this for yourself, grab some frozen crinkle cut fries and whole milk, some salt and flour, black pepper, American cheese, ground beef, some water, and an egg. Uh, ugh. That was just straight hot dog pancake. I'm gonna yak. Shoutouts to my friend Sawyer and all the rest of you for sending me this one. I don't know how I haven't seen it earlier considering it has 18 million views. We are all collectively clearly doing something wrong in life if this is the kind of things that 18 million people are watching. But it is essentially a homemade double cheeseburger with slices of American cheese. I'm assuming you can cook your patties however you like. I did have a tiny issue wrapping this in the American cheese since I had the thicker, better quality stuff. I had to heat it in the microwave for like three or four seconds in order to get it to mold a little bit better. And then the bun replacement, the frozen fries are gonna get chopped up and eventually adhered to the outside of this with a homemade pancake-like batter. The way that silly girl tries to frame this whole recipe is that it's basically a trick if you don't have hamburger buns. I will directly quote the description, how did I not know this burger trick? This is not a trick. I'm sorry, but you could run to the damn grocery store and back three times in the amount of time it takes you to make this. Between enrobing it in all the layers, waiting for the damn thing to freeze for hours, waiting for a gallon of your fry oil to heat up, like, this is not a trick. Does it have the potential to be its tasty own burger thing? Sure. But I have a feeling that, if anything, the joke's gonna be on me and anybody else who elected to try this thing. Like I mentioned, you have to stick this in the freezer and let it firm up for at least 30 minutes to an hour, if not longer. And then I fried this off at 350 degrees for however long it takes to get a golden crust. If you do this at home, please use a bigger pot, please use more oil. I, folks, am a trained professional who also has an electric stove with a lot less risk of uh, starting a fire. I just always feel guilty going through dozens of gallons of frying oil for stupid stuff like this. Will they have to add this to the deep fried artery clogger foods found in the state fairs and on boardwalks? Let's give it a taste and find out. I wish I had thought about a burger sauce or restocking my ketchup before this. I don't really know why I didn't think of that. To nobody's surprise, this tastes delicious. I can definitely see this being served at a state fair or something similar, something heavily American. It's a little bit on the bland side, but like I said, a little bit of burger sauce or some extra seasoning powder of your choice on the top would do wonders. If we're being honest here, there's nothing to not like. It's oozing cheese, it's crispy fries, and a homemade burger. I would not recommend you eat more than an eighth of one of these or else you're uh, 
apart and organs may fail on the spot. Would I ever prefer this over a normal smash burger? Absolutely not, but is it very tasty and an interesting experiment? Sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave me a big thumbs up. It helps out the video and the channel a ton. If you have other similar TikToks or any recipes that you'd like to see me try next, leave them in the comments. DM me over on Instagram. It's David underscore Seymour one. Other than that, though, have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you right back here next time. Peace! And my money super lazy. Yeah. Try and make a meal tonight, they ain't pay me. Try and supersize my life with my 18. Yeah, our style wasn't wavy, but we had a vision.